That's the Pasha Scimitar, the Nidus. I did <laughs> The Nidus, source of all my powers, has split into five pieces. But Belor has already denied me possession of four parts. Unless every fragment is regained, I shall eventually grow weaker and die. They can only be seen in reflection. Find the five pieces of the Nidus. Bring them to me. Go on, Helen. I can't see a thing. Where's Terry? Here. Well, wait for us. We must keep together. Come on, it's opening out. Is that a bird? What? A bird just above my head. Come on. What's that? Not another bird. You don't have birds underground. I thought I heard a voice calling. <laughs> no, Helen. Don't be afraid. Come on. Look! What is it? Robbers. Pillaging the sacred tomb of Tutankhamun on the eve of his burial. What else was found on them? Just the lamp, O oh, Princess Matartan. Bello? We found it in the cave. And you put it there, didn't you? Watch your tongue, boy, or you will lose it. Return the lamp to the burial chamber. Anyone caught trying to steal from a tomb is put to death. And when it is the Pharaoh's tomb... You know we're not tomb robbers, Bello. Do as I bid you and leave. Rothko must be desperate. He knows that soon I shall have the last Nidus fragment, and then he will lose his powers forever. Not if we get it first. No. I shall have it. Meanwhile, you will await my pleasure. What have you done with them? I shall not be needing them, only you. You will be helping me. Oh, I will not. Would you rather your friends were destroyed? And you say it is ready, Setek? Everything needful has been done. The viscera removed, the salts and unguents supplied. You have had 70 days. At the appointed time. And still the Pharaoh's body is not properly embalmed. My lord? Do you question my judgment? I am Lord A, the King's Chamberlain. More oil must be applied. Too much and the bandages will rot. More oil, Setek. Is he here? Your Majesty? The Hittite prince I am to marry, where is he? You said he would be here in time. Be calm, Queen Akasapartan. You said if I were to marry again before the king is buried, I could still be queen. There is still time. Tutankhamun is to be buried tonight. His body is not ready for burial. Not until I say so. Do you understand? Not until the prince I have sent for has arrived. What if Matartan has captured him? They say she has taken prisoners on the pretext of robbing the tomb. If she is holding my prince... Your sister would not dare. She means to be Pharaoh. There has never been a woman Pharaoh. The people would not accept it. Who will succeed, then, when my husband Tutankhamun is buried? I will find your prince. 
You will succeed. But the funeral rites... ...will have to be delayed until we are ready. Matarden will not allow it. It is I, the King's Chamberlain, who will decide, not your sister. The Lord Chamberlain awaits the Hittite Prince. He wishes the young widowed queen to remarry and keep the succession. But the Hittite prince is not here, so it is I who will have the succession. The Chamberlain also seeks to delay the burial. That he must not do. You have done well to tell me of this, Setech. See that everything is ready for the burial tonight. Yes, my lady. My lady! The Lord Chamberlain demands to see the prisoners! Demands? Then tell him I am privy to all his plotting. But if he wishes to see the prisoners, Take him to the aviary. Go. My lady. Who's the Chamberlain? You will meet him in due time. Is it Rothko? Rothko! 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 This way, my lord. Rothko! 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 What was that? My lord? Come, this way. He could not hear you. From henceforth, you will listen, but not speak. Tonight, the body of the king will be entombed here forever, together with all his treasure, never to be seen again. Is it not beautiful? Can you see the reflection of the other Midas fragments I control? final part and then my powers will go unchallenged and Roscoe will be no more. Look! What is it? Look! Roscoe! Roscoe! What spell has been cast on them? There should be three. Where is the other? But my two little cage birds can only squawk. What has become of them? What evil has Matartan done? There, my pretties. You will find it much quieter in there. Do you think they like being locked up in a box? Come down and listen. Listen to them crying to get out. Get us out of here! We can hardly breathe! I can hardly breathe, Rothko, help! There's no air in here. Breathe. What is it? What are you doing here, Arkan Sabatan? I have more right to be in my husband's tomb than you. I have come to tell you that the burial will be delayed. Why? The Lord Chamberlain has declared the embalming is not yet finished. It must be. The customary 70 days are past. And if the entombment does not take place tonight, Tutankhamun's shade will bring pestilence upon the land. Go! And tell the Lord A that once the obsequies are completed, the new pharaoh will be proclaimed. What new pharaoh? Until I marry again, there can be none. Tonight, you will make your obeisance to him. To whom? The true heir to the throne, my son. You have no son. Was I not with child when my husband so mysteriously died? The child died at birth. Indeed he did not, my dear sister. Tonight, he will come into his own, the grandson of Akhenaten, the true pharaoh of Egypt. <laughs> Where's your son now, then? Before me. Invested with my powers, you will find none to challenge you. Oh, great king. He has no son. But I saw him. He's going to be declared pharaoh. This imposter will not rule. She will. Accept my offer and you will be as happy as anyone ever can be. Your friends will be, too. They will live with you at court. Look, the boy King Tutankhamun enjoyed himself, did he not? 
But he died young. You will have Bellor to protect you. With my powers to guard over you, what can you fear? Think about it. But not for too long. You have only to say yes and mean it, and you will have no memory of any other life. It's my other life that I want. Soon your friends will have no life at all. Perhaps you should join them and find out what they want you to do. I'll go. Phil. She wants to make me fairer. And she said you could live with me in the palace, and as we'd never remember anything else, we'd be happy. You have only to say yes and mean it. Let us out of here! We can hardly breathe! Where are the children? Release them, I command you. In the name of the dead king whose burial place you profane with your evil practices. Is that all you can call upon now, Rothko? A dead king? He has no powers left. The children are there. Go on, strike again. Use up what little strength you have. Every boat you fire simply makes you weaker, Rothko. I have four parts of the Nidus. It is I who commands. You see, even the animal kingdom obeys me. They are the hunters now, Rothko, and you are the hunted. You can no more command my kingdom than the boy King Tutankhamun could. <laughs> Only your friend can save you. I give in! Yes! So be it. Go to the palace and tell the Lord Chamberlain that the funeral rites must begin now. Helen? Terry? They don't know me. They will come to know you as the Pharaoh soon. Then the three of you will be close friends again, much as it was before. Before? They have already forgotten their other life. What other life? So, you are forgetting yours too. No, no. We were on a hillside and it was raining. A dream. <laughs> Just a dream. recognize me. I am Rothko. My lord. Who are they? They are not of this time, but Belor has trapped them in it. I have wasted my powers, and now when I need them most. My lord. My lord. The mourners are in the courtyard. Bring the king's body back in here. But my lord. Do as I say. I still have some authority in this land. When this new pharaoh is proclaimed, what will become of us? All will yet be well. First, I must awaken these children. again. A certain power that I always feel in the presence of the Pharaoh. It is my hope that he will aid us now. Children, put your hands on the coffin. Look into the golden mask. What do you see? Tell me what you see. There's someone running. Who is it? Who do you see running? Why? It's Phil. We can see Phil. Rothko, are you all right? Yes, completely. 
It was as if the effort took all the strength I had left. And yet, I am restored. There is something here. Something beneath the Pharaoh's shroud. I know it. Where's Phil? Let the king's dagger be placed in his belt. And the ring upon his finger. You look well, my son. Take up the golden trumpet and lay it upon his lap. All you need now is the royal fan. Give it to him. Oh, mighty king. Make your obeisance to the new king. The trumpet. It belongs to the king. Why is it on your lap? You dare to question his divine majesty? His hunting dagger in your belt. His ring upon your finger. The fan, too. He has no right. They belong to Tutankhamun. They belong to him. He is my son. You have no son. Tonight you will throw yourself at his feet and beg to become his footstool. Do you deny that Smenkara gave me a child? The child was stillborn. Is it proof you seek? My son can open the very gates of the underworld if I let him. He can show you the path a dead king's spirit will walk this very night. Even the god Osiris will acknowledge him as Pharaoh if I choose. But you do not choose, Bello. You dare not. Whatever powers he has, you have merely lent him. Lent him. Open the gates to the underworld. For him to do this, you must give him your powers. Give him. And this you dare not do, for fear he might use them against you. You waste your time, Rothko. He is my son and will be Pharaoh. <laughs> you see, the first part of the Nidus is his now. Rothko! The fan, too. Can you guess where the other two pieces of the Nidus are, Rothko? Or will you be too late to claim the dagger? The ring! <laughs> you are too late. They are his now, and his will prevents you from claiming them. You have my powers now, my son. Use them to prove to all that you are Pharaoh. Please, Phil, give them to Rothko. Let him claim them. They're yours to do what you like with. As Pharaoh, you will have sway over all the known world. And when the last part of the Nidus is yours, together our power will be absolute. Give it to Rothko. Or Rothko will weaken and die, will he not? Phil, no! I command the walls to open. No! In the name of Osiris and the divinity in me as Pharaoh. <laughs> Now do you all believe? The god has acknowledged him too. It is your spell, Belor, not his. Your evil would corrupt all that is good, even beyond the grave. Silence, and mighty king! Put that man to death in the name of the Pharaoh. There can be no Pharaoh while the great Pharaoh lives. The Pharaoh lives in me. Even while Tutankhamun still reigns? Where is the last fragment of the Nidus, Bellor? The source of my strength in His Majesty's presence. The key of life itself. I deny! No need, Bellor. For I now give it to your young pretender. No, Rothko, you mustn't. It's the last piece. Claim it, Rothko, please. The whole Nidus is now yours, my boy. Take it. You are mad, Rothko. If my faith in the human spirit is madness, the 
then I am mad. If my trust in this youth is madness, so be it. How much do you trust him, Bello? Claim it, almighty king. I claim the Nidus. paltry trick to delay succession. Well, I will show you real power. Mighty Pharaoh, destroy them! No! Phil, no! Run, Helen, quick! Hunt them down, my son. Let them look upon your face as you kill them! You fool, Rothko. The Nidus is mine. The Pharaoh is mine. The universe is mine because of your pathetic faith in humanity. I have such faith. <laughs> now, my eternal son, destroy them! Friends. Helen, what are you doing here? Terry and I were fine. Well, how are you? Fine. threw it away. You denied it to Bellor. There was no other way for you. What'll happen to you now? Me? Oh, I am condemned to live out my life. For how long? For quite some time yet. And will we meet you again? Perhaps. If Bellor should rise up again for some evil purpose, I might seek you out to help me. Well, how could you fight Bellor without the Nidus? Ah. You threw it into the waters of time. Its powers are now there for all who seek enlightenment. I too can tap that source. It will sustain me and enable me to travel wherever I please. Go now. Back to your own world, where I do have power enough to send you. What are you doing here? Terry and I were... Oh, Phil, how, how are you? Fine. Long time since I saw you both. Is it? I seem to feel we've been together recently. Haven't we? With the crystals. They brought us together. Oh, don't be silly, Helen. How could they? They're just bits of quartz, that's all. I'm not so sure. Remember the old man who gave them to us? Souvenirs. Memories. A strange sort of guy. What was his name? Funny sort of name. Rothko. Yes. That's right. I remember now. Rothko. Yes. Remember my name, children. 